Hi, students. My name is uh, Peter Chen from University of Connecticut. So today we are going to talk about uh, editing the attribute table in QGIS. So now if you look at my um, QGIS desktop, I have loaded the data. I put the data uh, into my work folder, which is under C drive, geography 2500, and then US states um, shape file. So if you double click this file, you can load it. And of course, you can drag and drop into this layers panel. Um, if you don't have the data at this moment, you can um, go to the link below this video and uh, download the data. So when the data is loaded, you can see this is uh, the, all the states in the United States. And first, let's take a look at uh, the attribute table. There are two different ways to open the attribute table. The first is to right-click the layer and then choose open attribute table. And of course, there's another way by clicking on the attribute table icon on the toolbar. So let's do that and open the attribute table. Okay, now we have the attribute table opened. And if you look at here, we have the total area, the state name, state FIPS code, region, abbreviation, and the population 2000. So we are going to use this field for generating new fields later. So this is our key field. So first, um, we need to add a new field. Uh, and the, for this lab, we are going to use the data, the COVID-19 data, um, the infection data for each state. In order to add a field, we uh, need to enable the editing mode. This is a little bit different from ArcGIS because in Arc, you don't enter into the editing mode when you add a field. So here, let's click on the pencil shaped icon to toggle the editing mode. And then when the editing mode is on, uh, let's add a field by press this icon called new field. And here I'm going to enter um, the name of the field, which is COVID-19. And uh, this is uh, the infection, which is a whole number. So we just keep it as it, as it is. For the length, this is um, the max um, length of the field. So for example, uh, if you have a number one, two, three, four, five, six, that will be uh, a, a length of six, an integer length of six. So let's change this to um, 10. So we, the max size for this field is 10. After that, press OK. And uh, you will notice um, a new field called COVID-19 is added to the very end of the table. And of course, you need to uh, scroll to the very end. It is relatively not easy for us to navigate the table because the new field is at the very end this, of this table and the, the state name is uh, on the other end. So we want to reorganize the table so that we can only see two field names, which, which are the state name as well as the COVID-19. In order to do that, right click on the title of this table and then choose organized columns. And here you could uncheck the fields that you want, don't want to be shown on, in the attribute table. And uh, because there are too many, and this will take some time, and there is a shortcut, which is this, um, this button called deselect all. So if you click deselect all and then choose a state name as well as COVID-19. And after that, you'll be able to see only those 
two fields available uh, in the attribute table. And of course, if you want to bring them back, right click, organize columns, and uh, check select all, or check the columns you want to be shown. And then you will notice that um, the state name uh, is not organized in alphabetic order. So if you click here, they will organize um, in alphabetic order where the Alabama will be the first. And you will probably notice that we do not have any values for the new field. Uh, in order to do that, or in order to add some values, we can enter them manually. And to find those numbers, you can rely on different sources. And I use the source from New York Times. And uh, I have provided the link under this uh, video. And then you may use um, other sources such as CDC. So let's copy the link and put it in your browser and to see the data source. So now I'm on this New York Times website with all these cases and the death by state and county because of the coronavirus. And uh, you can see that um, the states are also alphabetically ordered. And uh, if you don't see like this, you can click in this space and uh, these states will be uh, ranked alphabetically. So now we have these numbers um, here and you may have a different number uh, on the date of this practice. So just enter those numbers manually um, for the states. So I'm here, here I'm going to um, put three numbers um, for the first three states. So in my case, Alabama is one, four, nine, five. Uh, Alaska is one, four, six. And then Arizona is one, six, oh, three. And then Arkansas is um, seven, oh, four. And then you can finish the table, um, finish the rest of the table by entering the numbers according to your data source. And next, uh, we want to derive the infection rate, which is the infection divided by the total population for each state. And we need to add a new field and, and then use the field calculator to derive the number. To find the calculator or field calculator, it is this icon. So when um, the field calculator is on, you can see uh, this screen. And uh, for our output field name, let's enter COVID-19 R representing um, the rate. The output field type should not be the whole number because um, the result has decimals. So let's change that to decimal numbers or real in this case. And uh, also let's change the precision, uh, which means the max number of decimals or decimal places. Uh, let's change that to five. So we have uh, more decimal places in the result to be more accurate. And then in the expression, you can type in the, the, the formula, but that is not recommended. And uh, I would go to this um, uh, column and then find fields at values. And then let's generate an expression based on existing fields. The first is COVID-19, just click. Um, and then over or divided by space, then find um, fields and values and population 2000. So you will have this expression generated. And now you are able to click OK and see the result. However, there is uh, another tip for you. Um, so 
if this is not a new field, you may consider, you know, update existing field and to renew the results. So just uncheck, create a new field and update existing field. But for now, we are creating a new field. So let's click OK. After clicking on OK, you will see a new field uh, called COVID-19R is generated. This represents the infection rate uh, for each state. And with this um, field, and you are able to make a map. So um, let's save our results first by clicking on the save edit. And uh, if you are unsure of how to make a map, please refer to the video below.